Proper 28, Year C, from the Book of Isaiah. Be glad and rejoice forever in what I am creating, for I am about to create Jerusalem as a joy and its people as a delight. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We hear in our readings today then a number of warnings against thinking of God as primarily a destroyer. In our Gospel, Jesus laments over the destruction of Jerusalem, but he warns the disciples not to be terrified by wars and persecutions and famines and plagues, because although those things will come, the end will not follow immediately. Jesus promises to give us words and a wisdom that none of our opponents will be able to withstand or contradict. By your endurance, he tells us, you will gain your souls. Now endurance is, by definition, not easy. Paul reminds us, however, that anyone unwilling to do the work of faith should not eat. The jobless poor, by way of contrast, are already working, struggling to endure the circumstances of their poverty. But those who are idle in faith are idle indeed, because they have already been given what they need to survive. God gives us what we need to endure in two ways. First, our canticle tells us to trust in God and not be afraid. Because when we are faced with calamity, let's face it, we tend to panic. And then we make really bad choices, thinking our opponent to be bigger than us. So it is that we remind ourselves, week after week, that God has already done great things. That God is great enough, strong enough, big enough, smart enough, patient enough to handle any calamity that befalls us. Second, God gives us the ability to be good stewards of creation and of our remembered experiences within that creation. God is creating a new heavens and a new earth, but he does it not out of nothing, but out of the stuff like us that God has already created. God will make Jerusalem, not some other city, as a joy, and its people, not some replacements, as a delight. We are enabled truly to endure in faith as we learn to interact with the world, not as something God is planning to destroy, but as something God longs to renew. Let us likewise cherish the world, the world that has been made and will be remade by our God, who is the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.